ओके टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक अंडर इंजीनियरिंग मेकानिक्स और यू एस ए मेकानिक्स दैट इज बोस नोटेशन बोस नोटेशन इज डिफाइंड एज ऑल द फोर्सेस इन स्पेस ऑल द फोर्सेस लाइंग इन द स्पेस डायग्राम आर नेम्ड बाय यूजिंग बोस नोटेशन ओके इट्स अ कन्वीनियंट मेथड इन हुई ईच फोर्सेस और लोड इज नेम्ड बाय टू कैपिटल लेटर प्लेस इधर साइड इन स्पेस डायग्राम लेट्स टेक एन डायग्राम ओके this force is known as say f3 okay this is a force name as f2 and this is another force name as f1 as per both notation and if if there is an some intermediate angle say for theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 okay how both notation is given say we have given a this is a notation b this is a notation we are moving anti clockwise okay you can see this direction is anti clockwise and c so how we will reckon this forces or designate this forces say f1 force is applied by applied between applied between a and b okay a and b you can see what is f1 this is f1 is applied between a and b simultaneously if you talking about f2 force what is f2 force this is your f2 force is applied between b and c what is b that is b and that is c and in between the force that is f2 simultaneously if you talking about f3 force it is applied between you can see c and a that is the force f3 okay it may come in different way say for example this is a beam okay you know what is beam beam is a horizontal structural member if there is a plenty of forces applied say these are the forces okay various forces Say make their name F one, F two, F three, and F four. Let's put the notation. Okay, A, B, C, and D. Okay. So simultaneously, you if you want to make them names, what will be the way for F one? You can see F one. This force is lies between A. and b okay similarly in case of f2 you can see it is between b and c b and c for f3 force f3 this is the f3 force is applied between c and d okay but in case of f4 when you are going to designate the f4 that will be between d and a there is no other intermediate force d and a okay last and final diagram say this is a triangle okay we are discussing three example this is figure 1 this is figure 1.1 and this is figure say 1.2 okay in this case suppose there is a load of 100 kilo newton is applied let's put the name a b and c now if we this is a reaction force that is r and say that is a okay if you going to designate this forces let's make name a b c and d these are the notation given so if you going to designate r r 
at joint A, small a, what will be the R force in between A and B? You can see A and B. In case of A, see you can see in case of A, at for A, A force at joint A R force. In case of A force, A force is the force. Okay, this is the reaction force in between B and C. Okay. So I think from these three figures, you are now able to designate your forces as per the Bose notation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.